for, um, honestly, this is more, I would say almost more for the parent's sake is to start with that protective information. Mm -hmm. What is going to protect our children first? That's kind of like, in a way, the first line of defense. We want our kids to be protected when they're out away from us, when they're at a babysitter, when they're at daycare, when they're at a friend's house, when they're at um, a scout activity, when they're at sports. Mm -hmm. So starting very young with helping them understand what good touch, bad touch helping them understand what a predator looks like, helping them understand boundaries, helping them understand what is okay and what is not okay um, to be touched and to, for you know, affection. One of the principles we talk about in our books is forced affection. We, that was something that I kind of had to learn about um, maybe with like my second child. I didn't get it right away with my first child. We would always say, well, go give grandma a hug go give, you know, and if they didn't want to, we would still kind of like nudge them and kind of push that on them. And it wasn't until later where we realized, why would we do such a thing? Why would I teach them that they have to hug and kiss um, an adult and when they don't feel like it? We need them to know that their bodies belong to them. Mm -hmm. So that goes, that goes hand in hand with those first discussions of my body is amazing and I'm worth protecting. So that's kind of the, you know, I'm, my body is amazing. I'm worth protecting. And here's what good touch and bad touch looks like. Here's what appropriate affection looks like. And so that's a great starting place. Then you can kind of move into instincts, you know, helping our children understand, you know, what, what are our instincts and how do they keep us safe? What is that icky feeling I might get when somebody is making me uncomfortable mm-hmm. or touching me in a way that I am not comfortable with? Helping them, you know, really pinpoint that. Another important thing is to teach them when is it okay to say no and how do we do that? Mm-hmm. Helping them even practice. I have two very introverted children and one very extroverted child and I needed my introverts to know that they could say no to certain adults they couldn't maybe say no to me when I asked them to do their chores, but there's certain opportunities when it's okay to say no and teaching them when are those times. Mm-hmm. So that, again, and again, people sometimes don't think of that, but that is part of the sex talk is mm-hmm. having those, those basic foundational things. Um, something else important for little children is to understand their anatomy, mm-hmm. to know the proper names and to know what is the function of my penis? What is the function of my vagina, of my anus? And being very comfortable saying that. I've heard, I don't know how many stories, usually from adults our age, who, from women who had no idea that their vagina and your, their urethra was something different right? They didn't know that. They weren't taught that. Mom and dad, that was too much to talk about, right? So helping little girls understand you have two different, you know, pieces of anatomy down there. You have a clitoris, you know, and that's, that might be for later, but that's, again, that is up to you, the parent, to decide when are you going to, you know, when to talk about these and to give them as much information as honestly as possible. Um, Another important thing is again, because we're building those foundational blocks, is to talk about healthy relationships. To talk about, again, even with a three and four-year-old, you know, you might think it's a conversation about we don't hit and we don't bite, but those are the building blocks of a healthy relationship later, right? We don't call names. We don't let somebody call us names. These are these are these are small simple things but that is what you that's how we talk with little children so that they understand that's right you don't talk to me that way and i'm going to respect you enough to not talk to you that way you know and so again these are all building blocks for those future conversations